The annual Fortress running series is at the halfway point, with two more races still to go. The four-legged series began in Venda in July, then moved to Everton in Sebogeng last month. The next stop is Sterkspreit in the Eastern Cape, with Klerkstorp in the northwest being the final destination. 2023 Comrades Marathon winner and downrun record holder Dede Dijana has been among the big names participating in this series. 1996 Olympic silver medalist Ezekiel Sidbeng is one of the brains behind this event and he joins me now to talk about it and other athletics-related matters. A very good morning to Dr. Sidbeng and thank you so much for your time. Fortress running series, the first two races, have yes. they been as successful as you want them to be? Yeah, good morning, good morning, Morena, and uh, to to the viewers. Yeah, you know we we we've started uh, with Toyando in Venda, and uh, I think it was an, a success. Uh, if you know that we are taking this event to to communities, uh, rural areas, and uh, it was an a success. The second one in Everton also a success. Uh, so we are expecting uh, a very good one here in 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 Stakespeare. Uh, we've been here in the past three years in Stakes Parade, and the support has always been uh, good. You talk about you're taking the series to, you know, communities in the rurals and some of them, Kobokasi, uh, such as Evatoni. What has been the thought behind that? Why are you specifically targeting these kinds of areas when you could have just taken it uh, to the urban areas? Yeah, look, uh, we've got a lot of uh, races uh, that are happening in, in in the urban areas, and it kind of we forget uh, that there is a talent uh, in the rural areas. If you look at most of our top athletes, uh, most of them come from uh, the rural areas and move into the urban areas. So we came up with the strategy that uh, you know let's let's go into the rural areas. And uh, the same, same, same time, same way, we will be identifying uh, talent, and uh, as we are giving them an opportunity to participate, it's, on, it's not only talent identification uh, events. You know, uh, healthy lifestyles for the communities, and uh, where Fortress, uh, it's got uh, shopping malls around uh, the country, and. Uh, where we hosting this event, uh, it, it, it is where uh, there is shopping malls there. So they're kind of giving back to, to the community where their shopping malls are, are located, yeah. You make an important point where you say talent identification, and you're somebody that himself was a talent that was identified um, all of those decades ago, and you're somebody that himself, post his professional career, has been involved in ensuring that you, know, you, you, you blood in that new fresh talent into South African athletics. Uh, how, how much of, of, of a partnership is there between the Fortress Running Series and let's say Athletic South Africa and ensuring that there is that pipeline that you as Ezekiel Sepe who's been on the track before find a gem of, of, of a runner that you can then feed into the Athletics uh, South Africa system is there that kind of partnership that kind of relationship between the two bodies yeah look uh, as a club that is uh, organizing the event which is ISMO ISMO is registered under the province so ISMO will be working with the provinces uh, where we uh, 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 organizing this competition. So the athletes first, they will need to go through uh, provincial structure. So the athletes will qualify for provincial teams to go to the national teams. And I think in the national teams, that is where uh, now the national federation will come in. But at, at the moment, as we are taking it from the grassroots, so there is an, a communication and a partnership with all the provinces that we have hosted uh, our events. Uh, athletes will be joining clubs and the clubs will be participating in the provincial structure. And that's where they can be identified here. Yeah. What can we expect from uh, the third leg of the Fortress Running Series, Kostek, Kostek Spreit, um, in terms of um, participation? How many numbers of people have you guys already got? What is the cap uh, in terms of participation? And what can those that are competing expect? Yeah, look, uh, we, we, if you look at uh, our past uh, competition here at Stek Spreit, we, we're looking at around about, uh, about 800, between 800 and 1,000 uh, participation and uh, we've got more athletes from Lesotho because we're not far from Lesotho here in Stakes Parade. It's just about about 10, 10, 10, 10 kilometers to the border. 
So most of the athletes that will be coming this site are from uh, Lesotho and uh, they are international uh, athletes, you know. And uh, the competition will start at 7 o'clock at uh, Stack Sprite uh, Plaza. We've got uh, uh, 21 kilometers and uh, we have uh, 10 kilos and uh, 5 kilos. So if uh, athletes wants to register, you know, seven days leading up to, 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 to the main event, uh, we will start our uh, registration uh, at the plaza uh, uh, in Stack Sprite, yeah. But also athletes can go online and, and do registration, yeah. I want to move away from Fortress for a bit, uh, Ezekiel, and look at something that I think is, is of national importance to talk about, and that is how, maybe let me not be too harsh in calling it the terrible state of, but essentially the current state of South African athletics we have not picked up a medal at the World Championships in six years. We've just gone to Budapest this yeah. year, and it has been a terrible performance on, in all of the disciplines, from sprint to, you know, long distance. I mean, you, I would imagine, were paying attention to what we were doing out in Budapest. What do you put those kinds of performances down to? What is wrong with our athletics? Look, uh... The development, it's, 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 it's very important. Uh, I think we are going into that phase where we had depended uh, a lot uh, at athletes like Wade van Niekerk, Kasta Semenya, Akani Simbini, and uh, those were the guys, Luvo Manyonga, uh, uh, Rashwal Samai, those were the guys that brought medals at us. But they, they, they're getting older and they're moving uh, out of uh, the system. So we will need to push more young athletes uh, to come up. And uh, my personal view, if, if you look at it, we, we have few athletes that have made in, into the semifinals, the likes of Spurin and Sikhodi, so uh, 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 Tsepo Tsite in the 1500, you know, uh, Joan van Dijk, the javelin. We've got uh, Sean Masangai in the 200 meters, Lutolo Adams, 200 meters. Those guys made it into the semifinal. It's now for us to, to push them uh, to be able to make it in, 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 into the finals. And uh, we will also be focusing on, on the relays. If we look at uh, the relays, uh, uh, our 4 by one unfortunately, in the past three years, they've been making finals and 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 and, and uh, some of them couldn't finish because of the bait and change mm. but we will be introducing uh, some other relays like the 4x4 four four men 4x4 four four women and the mixed relay because we believe that uh, we have an opportunity if we are looking at getting the medals uh, if you look at other countries that is where they are pushing now uh, in these relays and they're getting medals so i think that's the direction that we will be taking yeah just very quickly before i let you go uh, and this is being is it maybe not time as we build up to the Olympics that we blood in that talent that performed at the youth games? Because we've been doing quite well where the youth system is concerned. And I know you're saying that there needs to be that development, but maybe it's time that the, 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 the youngsters we're sending to the youth games that are bringing those medals there, maybe we start blooding them in now as we build up to Paris next year. Yeah, we, 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 we've already started. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the OPEX uh, support, they've got two groups. Uh, with uh, elite athletes, those are the athletes that are, are ranked in the top uh, 16 in the world uh, based on the 2022 uh, rankings. And uh, those are the athletes that made finals uh, at the World Champs in, in Oregon 2022. Then we've got another group where we're saying this is 2028. And these are the athletes that have won medals at the previous two World Under-20 Championships uh, in Cali, uh, 2022 and 2021 in uh, Kenya. So those athletes are in that group and they are being also funded uh, to be able to prepare for the 2028. It's a long-term uh, preparation. They will not make it for 2024, uh, uh, but uh, come 2028, those athletes should be ready. And uh, we have some of the athletes already that are in the senior team, like uh, Richardson, uh, Benjamin, he's, 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 he was in the 100 meters in the mm -hmm. seniors. So things are looking good. We've got uh, Kyle Radameyer in the pole vault was in the senior team. So we've got uh, athletes that are already have moved up into the senior yeah. uh, level and they, they can make the qualifying, but uh, they will not be ready for next year, uh, mm -hmm. Olympic Games. Uh, but come 2028, those athletes will be ready. Yeah. 
Well, we can only but hope that, you know, we do not see what we saw in Tokyo and what we saw in Budapest and that, you know, even though maybe we don't have, you know, a lot of medals next year, but it seems like the pipeline is definitely becoming a little healthier. Uh, Dr. Sipin, thank you so much for joining us and all the best with your preparations for the status plate leg of the Fortress running series. That is 1996 Olympic silver medalist Ezekiel Sipping.